Thank you. Now, today, actually, I was, uh, I was on my computer. I was actually just typing away on Word document, and I, I typed away a word. Now, my computer has that thing where it has the American spelling on it as opposed to the English spelling. You know, you know you've typed a word, and it's perfect. This little blue line comes under it. And that thing and that guy pops up on your computer and goes, do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> Can you off? It's just, oh, it's just, you know, control alt delete biatch. It's just, I hate that. Americans, they always love to spell things differently. You know, like often they'll just drop a vowel out of a word for no reason. Like color, C-O-L-O-U-R. Americans will just drop that vowel out of it. That's why I think Wheel of Fortune works better in America because it's cheaper to play. <laughs> So personally, I can't spell. I can't. I'm like, I'm borderline dyslexic. But you see, I think it's justified because the English language, I think, is the hardest language to spell. It is. Like, it has things like silent letters. Like, what's the point of a silent letter? <laughs> if it's there and you don't say it, why freaking have it there? <laughs> yeah, like, things like psychologist starts with a P. That's cruel. <laughs> People that need psychological help are already struggling. <laughs> Let alone to find it in the yellow pages. Just go, I just need help. Just give me the yellow pages. <laughs> Psychologist S S S. I can't find anyone. I can't handle this more. That's it. I need a knife. N N N. <laughs> One person just got it. I, uh, <laughs> like things, uh, things like PH is supposed to be pronounced F. Why don't you just use F? <laughs> you know, like phone is PH. Uh, pharmacy is PH. Phonetic is PH. <laughs> Phonetic means to spell something as it sounds. <laughs> Phonetics just made itself phonetically redundant. <laughs> If PH is supposed to be pronounced F, then why isn't Phuket? <laughs> Actually, I recently, uh, talking about overseas, I did go overseas recently. I went to uh, Europe for the first time. It was nice. It was, it was very European. And, uh... <laughs> I was over there, and one of the first foreign places I went to was actually Rome. Uh, like, well, uh, London was initially, but I don't classify England as that foreign to Australia. You know, like, you know, but they drive on the same side of the road, they speak the same language. I mean, for God's sake, the, uh, the English stole a quarter of the Australian flag and use it as their own. <laughs> so, but uh, I was actually, I was, I was over in Rome, and it was really great. I was standing there. I remember I was in the middle of the Colosseum, and it was really awe-inspiring. It was great. And the tour guide told me, in its peak... 50,000 Romans would fill the Colosseum. And I heard that and I thought, man, because they use Roman numerals, how hard would it be to find your seat? <laughs> Excuse me, mate, I'm looking for seat XXXPCVIMDXP. <laughs> Is that XXP? No, 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 the P's silent. <laughs> I've been Dave Thornton. I'm sure you guys